Hey there, welcome to Yoga with Lolly, and this is our Sunday stretch. You can do this obviously any day of the week, but it's Sunday, so let's have a stretch. I have a couple of things here. I have blocks, you of course can use some books, and I have a pillow, a bolster as well. Nice, and we're going to start today's flow in child's pose. So, coming down onto our mats, into our child's pose. We're going to have our big toes to touch, and our knees nice and wide, sending our hips, our sitting bones to the heels, and walking the hands forwards. It's meant to be comfortable for everyone, that's why we have props. So, we can bring our cushion or our blocks underneath on the top of the calves, underneath the sitting bones, so you can sit a bit more comfortably. You're going to have some more things, maybe here. Find however you need to be comfortable. Maybe you're here. Whatever things you need, settle into your child's pose. Try to sink your hips to the back. And try to sink your chest or heart down. You can have or you might be above the mat, or you might be resting on the mat. It doesn't matter. Wherever you are. Is where you're meant to be. Taking some deep inhales here, in and out through the nose. With every inhale, breathing in calm. Every exhale, breathing out stress. With every inhale, breathing in acceptance. And with every exhale, we're breathing out things we can't control. And we can focus this practice on what we can control. We can control our breath how deeply we breathe, the rhythm at which we breathe. We can control that. From beginning to end, our breath is our own. We can control our practice, we control how we react to things around us. Pressing your palms into the mat, Pressing into the fingertips, we're lifting up the elbows, stretching through the back, reaching as far forwards as we can, and then walking our hands to the right hand side, as far around as you can, trying to keep the sitting bones on the heels as we walk around. You could even bring the left hand on top of the right. We reach, 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 reach in your child's pose. Relaxing our head, relaxing the neck, stretching through the left side of the body. Walking the hands back again to the center. And then walking to the left hand side, reaching over, you can bring the right hand on top of the left. Again, trying to keep the sitting bones on the heels. And then walking back around to our child's pose. Coming up onto our hands and knees. We're going for some, for some cat and cow motions. So for a cow, we roll our shoulders back, the tailbone tilts up, pulling your chest forward and looking up. Exhale to arch into the spine, tucking the chin to the chest, angry cat. Inhale to roll the shoulders back, tailbone tilts up, look up. Exhale, pull the tailbone underneath you, 
chin to chest, push into the hands and the fingertips. Inhale for a cow. And exhale to cat. Inhale, neutral spine. Ground into our left hand and our right knee as we lift up the right arm nice and straight. Bring it down. Left arm, lift up. And bring it down. And switch right arm, reaching forward. We don't need to reach up straight and bring it down left arm reach 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 and bringing it down going for our legs this time our right leg kicking that heel back as far as you can and bringing it down left leg lifts up and kick 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 and again bringing it down right leg Kick, 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 kick. Bring it down. Left leg. Kick, 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 kick. And down. Right arm, left leg. Lengthen. Sit them down. Left arm, right leg. And down. Right arm, left leg. Keep pulling in the belly button to the spine. And down. Left arm, right leg. And down. Last one. Right arm and swing that hand behind you. Look for your toes or your foot. Kick it high into our tiger pose. Releasing the foot, stretch. And back down. Other side, lengthen, swing the left hand around, look for the foot or the toes and kick. And straighten the leg and release back down. Move from side to side, making a big C shape with your body. And then moving up, tucking your toes into our downward facing dog, pressing your hands away from the mat, trying to drive the ankles down. You can paddle the heels, feeling the stretch of the hamstrings. Push, push, push with the hands, keep pushing. Looking forward, lifting up the right leg. And stepping it forward between the hands, bringing the knee down, keeping the left hand down. Inhale to lift up the right, look up to the sky. Exhale to swing it behind, opening the shoulders, looking for the crease of the left thigh. Reaching up with the right hand again. Bring it down on the inside of the foot as we heel toe our right foot to the outside of our mat. And we can keep our knee, left knee where it is, or you can even shift it back a little bit. So you move, you can pulse a little bit here in our lizard pose. Keeping the shoulder very close to the knee here. Not so you can see. Keeping very close. And maybe this feels fine for you here. Or maybe you want to come down onto the forearms or onto a brick or a book or a pillow. Easy. And we can again, we can stay still or we can kind of pulse backwards and forwards, side to side. But we're trying to keep the shoulder next to the knee. Coming back up onto our hands. Grounding into the left hand. So right hand comes just above the knee, gently opening out the hips, coming to the outside of the right foot. Foot flat lifts off the floor slightly. And with our right hand as well, we can swing it back and take hold of that left foot. Pushing the hips forward, pushing the chest up. 
as much as you can. You can even hook that around your elbow. Bringing both hands down, heel toeing the right foot back into the center. And then pushing forward, bringing the hips down, sinking them underneath. And then sending them back. We're trying to keep our back nice and straight here. And then a sitting in the half splits. Moving forwards, trying not to let the knee go too far past. We're just going as far as here. You can even come up. Exhale to come back. If finding it hard for you to reach, use your blocks or books. Come forwards. And to come back. Moving forwards. And back. Last time to come forwards. Plant the palms. Tuck the toes, lift the knee, and step back into our high plank. And then push straight back into our downward dog. Move side to side here. And then ready to go again on the other side. So our left leg comes up. And we're stepping it forwards. Bringing that knee down. Right hand down. Left hand reaches up. You can swing it behind if you like, looking for the crease of the right thigh, opening up that shoulder even more. Swinging the arm up, and then all the way down inside of the foot, heel toe the left, foot to the outside of the mat. And again, we can find our sit base here. Maybe you want to move that right knee back a bit, it's up to you. Feel how you feel. For some of us, this will be enough here in our lizard. Some of us will want to go deeper. All the way down here. Our super flexi yogis will make, want either to put a book or a block underneath that foot. And come down to here. Wherever you want to be. And then back up onto the palms. Opening the foot to the side and opening that hip there. And we can even walk around with this foot here too. Then a quad stretch in. Again, pushing the hips forward, pushing the chest forward to that. Coming back down, stepping up for a brick, heel toeing to the center. Again, we might want to use our blocks here or our books. So we push the hips forward, the cup, tuck your toes, exhale to send the hips back. And then stretch all the way up here. Coming forwards, pushing the hips forwards, looking up, and sending the hips back. Feeling like the left leg is pulling back into that hip socket and the right is pulling forwards into the hip socket. Again, moving forwards. And moving back. Moving forwards. And moving back. Stepping back to our high plank, to our downward dog. And again, we can move side to side, even moving the hips side to side. Looking forward, bending your knees, stepping, walking, hopping forward. Or if jump throughs are in your practice, please jump through. We're coming to a seated pose. So in our seated pose, our shins are as straight as they can be. So we're not sitting cross-legged. We call this fire lock pose. So in an ideal world, we want to have both shins stacked on top of each other. Your feet are nice and flexed. 
a little triangle shape here. When you look down, you can see. If this doesn't work for you, just have let's go as far as you can. You don't need to stack them up if it's not comfortable for you. And as well, you can also sit onto a brick. This will take a lot of the pressure off of the knees, or you can sit on your cushion, you can sit on a rolled folded up blanket. Lots of things you can do. So here we are, fire along. And we're going to start rolling our shoulders back. Rolling the shoulders forward. Bring your hands behind your head. Moving to the side. Two sides. Center, pushing the heart forward, looking up. And feel to come down. Inhaling up. Push the chest forward, arch the spine. Exhale, looking down, chin to chest. Inhale, push the heart forward. Exhale down. Inhale to reach the arms up over the head. And exhale, slowly we're coming down, we can walk, walk, walk forwards and come down as far as we need to come. We can come to sitting, relaxing our head onto a block or onto a cushion like this. However you need to be to relax into this pose. Walking yourselves back up to seated and we're switching our legs. So whatever leg is on top, place it on the bottom. Again, trying to keep them as straight as they can be. And if they don't, they don't. No stress. As long as it's not for stressing. So again, bring your hands behind your head. And we're slowly moving from side to side. And we're not going to go all the way down by leaning forwards, we're trying to keep straight so we feel a beautiful stretch up the side of the body. On the other side, again, we don't need to go super far, we want to feel that stretch. To the center, and to the side, feeling one side probably feels a bit looser than the other, that's very normal. Everyone has their weak and strong sides. And then back to the center, pushing the heart forwards, opening up the elbows. And exhale, bringing the, uh, the chin in, elbows in. Inhale, looking forwards, look up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhale to stretch the arms up. Exhale to fold. And again, just coming as far down as you need to come. And you can stop yourself at any point using your blocks, using your pillow. Or even just using your hands, maybe you stop here. And that's cool. You're doing a great job. Slowly walking yourselves out. And we're straightening our legs. Turning first so the left leg is extended. The right leg is bent with our knee, our foot alongside the thigh. I want to come on so that all of our knee is on the long, us on our mat. We're starting by reaching the arms up over our head. 
reaching, 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 lengthening through the spine. And exhale, forward fold. As far down as you come, maybe you come as here with your back nice and straight. Maybe you come a bit further down, further down. Wherever you are, stop when you're straight. We can hold on to our calf. We can have our hands on the mat. Maybe we're as far as the ankle, as far as the big toe, or maybe all the way down. Trying to have our left side of the body only touching this leg. We don't move over, trying to reach. We come straight down and then look for the foot or the calf, wherever you are. There's a lot of distance under your knee. You can bring a block and just sit it underneath or a cushion or a block. All gravy. And from here, we're walking yourselves back up, reaching the right arm up over our head, bringing it behind us. And we're grounding into this hand and lifting up our hips. So we lift the hips up, push them up to the sky. And we can even bring this left hand behind our head, opening up even further to this baby wild thing. And sitting the hips back down and going for the other side. So our right leg is extended, the left leg is along our side. No need to show me around on your mat. I'm just moving so I can be seen. Our knees, we want to have our knee on our mat if possible. So when we lift up, we're not going to be hard on the surface. So again, sitting tall. Arms up, reach, and start to fold. And wherever you come to, you come to. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's here, or here, or down. All good. We can hold, we can have our hands in the mat, we can hold our thighs, our shins, our feet. Wherever. And straightening up, reaching the left arm up and behind us, grounding that hand, lifting up the hips, and bringing that right hand behind our head, opening up our heart to our baby wild thing, pushing the chest, the hips forward, pushing the chest forward. And bringing the hips back down to the mat. Keeping a block nice and handy. We're going to roll up onto our backs. Trying to keep our back along the mat. And we're going to lift up the hips and pop a block or a book underneath here. We want it to be underneath the sacrum. Sacrum is the five fused bones in our lower back. We feel around for them, we should be able to feel them. We want to put the block underneath this. And then we're lifting up our legs, 90 degrees. And then relaxing here. We can have our hands on our thighs to support. And our baby shoulders then. And here, our super flexi yogis will make, want you to put a book or a block underneath that foot. And come down to here, wherever you want to be. And then back up onto the palms, opening the foot to the side, and opening that hip there. stretch in. Again, pushing the hips forward, pushing the chest forward to the left. And coming back down, 
stepping up for a brick, heel toe into the centre. Again, we might want to use our blocks here or our books. So we push the hips forward, the cup, tuck your toes, exhale to send the hips back. And we'll stretch all the way up here. And forwards, pushing the hips forwards, looking up, and sending the hips back. Feeling like the left leg is pulling back into that hip socket, and the right is pulling forwards into the hip socket. And moving forwards. And moving back. Moving forwards. And moving back. Forwards. And back. Forwards. Bricks to the side. Stepping back to our high plank. To our downward dog. And again, we can move side to side, even moving the hips side to side. Looking forward, bending your knees, stepping, walking, hopping forward. Or if jump throughs are in your practice, please jump through. We're coming to a seated pose. So in our seated pose, our shins are as straight as they can be. So we're not sitting cross-legged. We call this fire lock pose. So in our ideal world, we want to have both shins stacked on top of each other. Your feet are nice and flat. A little triangle shape here. When you look down, you can see. If this doesn't work for you, just have. Let's go as far as you can. You don't need to stack them up if it's not comfortable for you. But as well, you can also sit onto a brick. This will take a lot of the pressure off of the knees. Or you can sit on your cushion. You can sit on a rolled, folded up blanket. Lots of things you can do. So here we are fire lock. And we're going to start rolling our shoulders back, rolling the shoulders forward. Bring your hands behind your head, moving to the side, to side. Center, pushing the heart forward, looking up. And feel to come down. Inhaling up. Push the chest forward, arch to spine. Exhale, looking down, chin to chest. Inhale, push the heart forward. Exhale down. Inhale to reach the arms up over the head. And exhale, slowly we're coming down, we can walk, walk, walk forwards and come down as far as we need to come. We can come to sitting, relaxing our head onto a block or onto a cushion like this. However you need to be to relax into this pose. Walking yourselves back up to seated and we're switching our legs. So whatever leg is on top, place it on the bottom. Again, trying to keep them as straight as they can be. And if they don't, they don't. No stress. As long as it's not for stressing. So again, bring your hands behind your head. And we're slowly moving from side to side. And we're not going to go all the way down by leaning forwards, we're trying to keep straight so we feel a beautiful stretch of the side of the body. On the other side, again, we don't need to go super far, we want to feel that stretch. To the centre, to the side, feeling one side probably feels a bit looser than the other, that's very normal. 
Everyone has their weak and strong side. Center, pushing the heart forwards, opening up the elbows. And exhale, bringing the, uh, the chin in, elbows in. Inhale, looking forwards, look up. Exhaling down. Inhaling up. Exhale down. Inhale to stretch the arms up. Exhale to fold. And again, just coming as far down as you need to come. And you can stop yourself at any point using your blocks, using your pillow, or even just using your hands. Maybe you stop here. And that's cool. You're doing a great job. Only walking yourselves out. And we're straightening our legs. Turning first so the left leg is extended and the right leg is bent. With our knee, our foot alongside the thigh. I want to come on so that all of our knee is on the lung, us on our mat. And we're starting by reaching the arms up over our head. Reaching, 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 lengthening through our spine. And exhale, forward fold. As far down as you come, maybe you come as here with your back nice and straight. Maybe you come a bit further down, further down. Wherever you are, stop when you're straight. We can hold on to our calf. We can have our hands on the mat. Maybe we're as far as the ankle, as far as the big toe. Or maybe all the way down. Trying to have our left side of the body only touching this leg. We don't move over, trying to reach. We come straight down and then look for the foot or the calf, wherever you are. There's a lot of distance under your knee. You can bring a block and just sit it underneath or a cushion or a book. All gravy. And from here, we're walking yourselves back up, reaching the right arm up over our head, bringing it behind us. And we're grounding into this hand and lifting up our hips. So we lift the hips up, push them up to the sky. And we can even bring this left hand behind our head, opening up even further to this baby wild thing. And sitting the hips back down and going for the other side. So our right leg is extended, the left leg is along our side. No need to show me around on your mat. I'm just moving so I can be seen. Our knees, we want to have our knee on our mat if possible. So when we lift up, we're not going to be hard on the surface. So again, sitting tall. Arms up, reach, and start to fold. And wherever you come to, you come to. Maybe it's here. Maybe it's here, or here, or down. All good. You can hold, we can have our hands on the mat, we can hold our thighs, our shins, our feet. Wherever. And straightening up, reaching the left arm up and behind us, grounding that hand, lifting up the hips, and bringing that right hand behind our head, opening up our heart to our baby wild thing, pushing the, chest, the hips forward, pushing the chest forward. And bringing the hips back down to the mat. Keeping a block nice and handy. And we're 
to roll it onto our back. Trying to keep our back along the mat. And we're going to lift up the hips and pop a block or a book underneath here. We want it to be underneath the sacrum. The sacrum is the five fused bones in our lower back. You feel around them, you should be able to feel them. We want to put the block underneath this. And then we're lifting up our legs, 90 degrees. And then relaxing here, we can have our hands on our thighs to support and our baby shoulders down. And we can start to bring some movement into our feet, starting with our toes. We're flexing the toes, and extending the toes. Flex, extend, flex, extend. Do this a few times, even trying to move the toes a bit more independently. Then moving to the ankles, pointing as much as you can, flexing as much as you can. Point, 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 flex, 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 flex. Point, 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 flex. Flex, 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 taking circles in one direction. And circles in the other direction. And slowly we're guiding our feet back down to the mat. Lifting up the hips so we can remove the bot and put it just to the side. Hug our knees into our chest and rock from side to side. Having the stillness in our mat, all the spine all the way from the sacrum all the way up to our neck is on the mat. And we're bending into our feet and either we're holding onto the outside of our calves, our big toes, or the outside of our feet. And we're coming to happy baby pose. We're trying to pull these feet in a bit more parallel, trying to get the thighs parallel to the mat and feeling a nice hip stretch. We can rock from side to side, if you like. See how this feels and all the muscles of the back. even practice straightening one leg, straightening the other, straightening both. Bringing your knees together and either rocking up and down until you can come back to seated or Rocking onto one side or the other and helping yourself up this way. Either is fine. Let me bring your legs nice and wide. Bring your hands together. We're stirring this big pot, going out to one corner all the way around and back. Out, around, back. Out around and back other way change direction back to the center and one last time bringing the knees in and we're coming for a gentle twist so first we're bringing the knees to the, side, to the left hand side and opening the right arm alongside the mat and either a T if you have room straight out or cactusing and then gaze over the right shoulder as the knees fall to the left 
Maybe your knees only come to here. We want to keep both shoulders on the mat. So you come for this thoracic twist. You can use your pillows or books to help support you. Give yourself some help, some love. Breathing deeply here. Guiding our knees back to the center. We're going for the other side. So our knees slowly roll to the right. So we look to the left. And again, you can use these blocks, pillows, or whatever you need to help support your feet here, support the knees. Again, trying to keep the shoulders completely on the left. This is a thoracic your ribs twist from this part of our spine. Twisting here, all the way around. Whenever our knees go one direction and our gaze goes the other. Again, guiding the knees back to the center. Hugging them tight, hugging your nose up to the knees, and then opening out into Shavasana, into our final corpse pose or meditative pose. We can have our ankles by the corners of our mat, our arms by our side. Alternatively, you can bring the soles of your feet together and have more of a hip opening Shavasana. It's up to you where it feels good and right. Close your eyes. And come back to your breath. Stretching your arms up and over your head like waking up in the morning once more. And hugging the knees into your chest. Giving yourself a tight hug. Rocking side to side, rolling over into one side or the other. And then slowly helping yourself up to a nice comfortable seated position. You can keep your eyes closed if you like. It's up to you. You can have your hands on your knees, in your lap, wherever you're comfortable. Feeling nice and tall, like there's a string pulling you from the face all the way out to the top of your head. chest in prayer. 
thank you everyone for making the time for this today. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate you being here. Namaste. See you next time.